have to see this to believe this. It's Kanisha. Welcome back to KBOT LV. If you are here, then you are here for the Louis Vuitton love and functionality. I think these Louis Vuitton rumors are true. We have been hearing about a lot of defects and bad quality. I don't know if that's what I'm experiencing. I do feel that the goods that I buy should last. Can I say a lifetime? I mean, I feel like they should last. You guys are gonna see this unfold right before your eyes. I was literally about to change bag when I'm reviewing this bag and finding cracking. The reason why I was taking a look at this bag is because I was on the fence about keeping it anyway. I had started to see this bag everywhere. Just basically, it was everywhere. It was starting to kind of bother me because I felt what I was seeing with the way that people were wearing this bag was just feeling like I had outgrown the use of this, outgrown the look of it. And so I was taking a look, giving it another once over to switch into it to figure out, are they passing feelings? You know, will they go away? And all I can tell you is reviewing this bag, one of the favorites of the past, I stumbled upon some wear and tear that was making me feel like Louis Vuitton. How is it you just had a price increase on your goods? Very frustrated feeling. I'm gonna share with you the two items I'm letting go. One is due to wear and tear, and I'm actually going to be taking it back to the store. I'm not selling this. Who would I sell this to? Why would I do that? That would be so not nice. I'm gonna be taking this back to the store. So we'll see how that goes. And I will show you what's going on here. And the other item I'm selling because I no longer use it. What a great reason. I actually have a really good reason. Sometimes you just fall out of love. I think that's okay. I like to send everything if I can. The item, the box, the dust bag, the receipt, sometimes a copy of that, and the ribbon, whatever I get, I just try to pay it forward and pass it on. Isn't it nice to open up a beautiful package? Just makes your day. So I want to make someone's day by paying it forward. And this is what I'm gonna be selling. You probably already guessed by now. It's a wallet. This is the Men's Line Pochette Discovery wallet. I love it. I still love it. I am just not using it anymore. I'm using my slim purse. I really adore that wallet. I'll have to do a review on it because I think it's great. So ladies, I just thought you should know, I'm also taking a look at what's going on in the Men's Line for fall because they have some cute pieces coming up, but we'll see. I usually like to take my time before I purchase from the Men's Line. Now. Why am I relinquishing this beautiful piece? There's nothing wrong with it. There's no tears. There's no wear and tear. There's no stitches that have been pulled out. It still has no chipping on the hardware. Just taking a look. Nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with this at all. Let's take a look at the inside. This is what the inside looks like. Just an envelope style wallet with four card slots as well as a place to put some cash. I like a some wallet. I like something that's neat, functional, and simple. It did the job. I actually had the Sarah wallet before this wallet, but the Sarah wallet, again, in canvas cracked. Man, what is it with the canvas bags? I think there's definitely something to be said for the leather bags. It's just that why would I want to spend more money for you, Louis Vuitton, on the leather without knowing whether or not it's going to last me almost a lifetime? You guys are like, well, you have a leather piece in your hand. Why are you keeping the slim first? I probably should hold on to this. You know, I actually got this in place of the Sarah wallet for free when I had to replace my Sarah wallet after it cracked. So. I don't know. I honestly can't believe these rumors about Louis Vuitton, but it's definitely for me become a reoccurring experience is what I will say. I had to replace the Pochette Matisse exchange for another bag as a result of the canvas on that bag cracking. Now I have another bag that is cracking. So let's get into it. The bag that is showing wear and tear. Can you guess? And again, I've got the receipt in here for this bag. And I'm taking it back in the box. I have plenty of boxes. I don't want any more boxes taking up space. 
So we talked about the Pochette Discovery Wallet. Now let's move on to what we have here. And I can't believe this just happened. I didn't finish my perusal on the wear and tear of this bag, so I plan to do a little bit of an update on the wear and tear of this bag. And I will share how long I've had this bag. This is the, that looks like the Pochette Matisse. As you can see, this is not the Pochette Matisse. This is the bum bag. The Louis Vuitton bum bag is what we are going to get into now. This bag is one of my favorites. At least it used to be. I've had this bag from when it came out. When it first came out is how long I've had this bag. And then they did like future releases on this bag. I had the original. I think it's in pretty, pretty good shape in terms of the Vaquetta. It has a watermark on the handle, but that doesn't bother me because over time, it always tan to blend in. I try to keep my bag stored in a way that they will not continue to tan unless I'm using them intentionally for that purpose. I don't think it's in bad condition. It's got some watermark stains, some oil stains, but overall, I feel like this bag is in pretty decent condition. And you have the zipper on the back, you have the two zipper pulls on the front, you've got this beautiful tab on the front that says Louis Vuitton Paris, and then you've got the little D-ring here. I've got my stuffing, I'll include, well, maybe I want to include it. Why is Louis Vuitton in my stuffing? I'm going to keep that. But look, it was made in France. This was one of the very first models that got released. and. I loved it. I loved it then. I love it now. So what went wrong? Here's what went wrong. I am doing my due diligence. You see this tag is nice compared to the front is pale. It looks good, right? The interior. I've been taking really good care of this bag. I feel like besides the tanning of the Vaquetta, there's no wear in the hardware. It still looks great. You saw a little bit of the oil stains in the Vaquetta marks, but overall, this is still in excellent condition. It could go many more years. And let's see, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. All the zippers are working. All is well, I'm ready to move in. And then what happens? <gasps> Look, you guys, you have to see this to believe this. Do you see what I see? Do you see that? You guys, do you see? Look at the other side. What is that, Kenesha? What is that, K-Bot LV? That's a crack. And so is that. This bag has cracks in it. This bag is too small to even load up to make it heavy enough that when you carry it, with the strap, the way you're supposed to. Hold on a second, because I have it on the, the shortest strap, so sure. Let me quickly rebuckle it, move it, put it where I want it, whether it's on the front or the back. What could I say about this bag? Except give me more of Louis Vuitton. I felt so deflated when I saw that. I was like, I can't believe these rumors are true. The Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse was definitely an issue in the past. I think this bag also came out around the same time. Clearly, it has a similar aesthetic. Maybe it had similar canvas too. I don't know. All I know, Louis Vuitton, is what are you going to do about these cracking issues with your monogram canvas or any of your canvases because why are you raising prices? This had a price increase. I bought this at $1,500 and it went up to $1,760. Why are you increasing prices, Louis Vuitton, and we're not getting quality product? I cannot recommend this. If you have not yet bought this the bum bag, but you're planning to buy it, Good for you. Maybe you will not experience the issues that I had and you saw how cute it looked, right? It's very cute, I loved it. But in this moment, the reason, like I said, why I was taking another look, close look at this bag is because I saw it 
everywhere it's really started to become ubiquitous now but the reason why i am pointing this out to you all my friends why are we talking about this is because if you buy this bag pre-owned we're just talking about in my other video about buying from the pre-owned or vintage market pay attention ask for pictures ask for a slew of pictures and if the seller gets aggravated or frustrated that you are demanding that walk away i could have sold this i could have put this on ebay and someone would have bought it some people out there are not honest some people would have created some dishonest pictures and sent this on its way and somebody would have gotten a damage bag and i don't think that's right i'm going to go back to the store that's what i would recommend and suggest that anybody who finds issues like that kind of wear and tear do don't pass that on don't pay that for it because that's not cool take it back to the store talk to a client advisor i feel like louis vuitton is a very reasonable brand they will do something for you if you have a respectful demeanor. That is my two cents on the Louis Vuitton bum bag. You heard me talk a little bit about the pochette discovery. I literally adore them both. I hope that anybody who has these products also love them, or if you're looking for them, you find a really good bottle that doesn't have the wear and tear that you saw me share with all of you. So I'm curious, has anybody else faced this? I mean, we have definitely talked about the pochette Matisse, but I have not heard any rumors about the bum bag having cracks like that. I am definitely curious on whether anybody else has experienced this because I was shocked. I am still shocked, but at least it makes my decision to let it go in some way, shape or form easier when i like a bag i tend to hold on to it for a very long time which is the reason why i've had this in my collection for so long but when there's something that doesn't add up it's gone this isn't adding up for me anymore in so many ways and i'm not gonna hold on to it it was great while i had it but i am fine to let it go now what this is gonna do is somehow open up the way for the future what is on the horizon there's so much to talk about and i can't wait to share Oh wait, I have this eyeliner that I have to replace as well. Did you see that? I stuck this eyeliner here to say. I want to tell you about one of my favorite eyeliners. This is by Chanel. It's Cassis number 83 by Chanel. It's not a brown, it's not a black, it's more of a purple. And I love that. It looks good though, right? I'm applying my eyeliner and the tip breaks off. I gotta literally get the little tip and put it back in here here's a tip <laughs> i just did that and it fell out oh no here's the tip it's my favorite i usually buy a couple of these at once this is the second one and i've run out time to replace i guess i am definitely replacing a few things so thank you for watching and for tuning in i hope by now you subscribed if you're with me to the end and until the next time